My name's Grant. Uh, I'm the tour manager for Paradise Fears. Uh, by complete accident, um, I was uh, working in a Best Buy as a uh, guitar sales, a musical instrument specialist, I believe is what they called it. And uh, I told Paradise Fears when they were a small little local band that if they ever needed a guitar tech to hit me up. Um, so lo and behold, they got a little bit bigger and they were like, yo, we could use a guitar tech. Uh, and so we, I signed up for that about a month before the first tour. Sam goes, hey, do you want to tour manage? And I said, I don't know what that is, but sure. Sounds cool. Um, and then now that's kind of become my primary role. Um, so, yeah, I kind of fell into it by accident. Um, guessing. Uh, I've had, had a lot of help from our, our booking agent and... Uh, Sam and the guys have are, had seen some really good tour managers, the Flyzig and those guys. They'd already, you know, they'd been on tours with them and seen how a, a real TM uh, functions. And so uh, I got a lot of pointers from them. Um, I have a teaching degree, um, and so I uh, use some of that, I suppose, to keep the boys in line. But uh, it really is just kind of guessing and kind of going with it. And then now what I do is whenever I'm on the road, I take the best things that I learned from other TMs. Um, and then just disregard anything I don't like about the other TMs on the tours. Um, I, I'm really content with Paradise Fears. They're good guys. Um, we have a good blend of, you know, it's like they're like your brothers. After a while, you spend, you spend enough time in the van with that group of guys. They're kind of your, you get really, really close with them. So um, that uh, I, I don't really have any end goals. I think I'm kind of just going with the flow at this point. Um, Really, the end goal is to see them grow and um, become bigger as a band, uh, and then uh, you know just keep touring and keep having fun. You know, loving life, loving what you're doing. You know, I thought I would. Uh, I thought I would uh, initially coming into this was like, oh, you know, I'm gonna get because I played in bands um, back in the Midwest and in Minnesota um, for many years and did that and I thought I was going to miss it coming into this but this part of this job is kind of the perfect blend of the uh, the perfect blend of being in a band and then working the behind the scenes stuff because I did a lot of promoting and booking um, locally as well and so it uh, these guys are do a pretty good job of you know they make your Twitter popular and things like that and they uh, they you know, so you get that, that element of it where there are fans and there are people that recognize you and give you recognition for being a part of an organization, I guess. So you get that, that part of it fulfilled, and then, but then you don't have to deal with some of the bullshit that comes along with playing in a band. I don't know if I can say bullshit or whatever you... Say whatever you want. I say whatever I want. Okay, bullshit. And, uh, and that... Uh, so it's a good blend. It's a good blend. I don't know how else to describe it than that, but... You want to do a name drop for the site? Hell yeah, what am I supposed to say? You just say I'm grand. Pup Fresh is fresher than. Oh, wait, I got another question. Who would you like go to media outlet for Paradise Fears? Oh, Pup Fresh. Pup Fresh is my go to media outlet. Are you kidding me? The only. Okay, I shouldn't say this, but I'm going to. The only phone number I saved in my phone uh, was Dan Cox Pup Fresh. That's. I've had that since, well, like the sixth day of the headliner. And he's been in my phone ever since. Sometimes he te sends me text messages, says, hey, what's up? And we bro down. He's a good dude. I don't, know. <laughs> I don't know what else you want me to say. Uh, the headliner, you remember that, huh? Well, yeah, because that was, you know. Because you're that damn good of a manager. No. I wasn't at that point. <laughs> Going around like a chicken with my head cut off. That's all right. Um, Hell yeah, we are getting on it. Yeah. <laughs> Lou, come talk about me. I don't know what's going on. You know what I do want to point out, though? Every time I see you wearing a hoodie, I'm like, shit, I got that same color hoodie. At least he only red. wears that one hoodie. Dude, no, one. no, no, no. He had the red, oh, he has we were, a red one. We were matching last time around. I was just like, shit, dude. Oh, uh, you brought the chance? red one? No, re remember we were like matching? That was so awkward. I, like, you're like, we're, we're just great minds, man. Nah, dude, it was so great weird. Minds. I was like, I, I want a Yoda hoodie like this. So this is dude, like, yeah, this is, this is the jam. Tell what us why Grant's the greatest manager of all time. Oh, let, yeah, let do Grant. Well, well, don't look like Quasimodo when you do it. Like. You gotta know who you are so that it's legit. Yeah, who are you? <laughs> who is this man that just comes and sits Obi next to me? Obi-Wan. Obi-Wan. No, Grant's, Grant's a good guy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Fair enough. It's all right. I'm Grant. I'm the tour manager for Paradise Fears, and Pup Fresh is fresher than Lucas Zimmerman. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, that works. Man, I'm just. Why not? Why? Because you know, because why not?